so uh, here we are on the XJ750 I'll just take it up uh, up through the lanes just go around the block on it seems to be uh, clutch seems to be alright famous last words <laughs> yeah, seems to be alright at the moment doesn't feel it doesn't feel floppy like it did yesterday and uh, I also changed the mic on the uh, on the head cam as well so I don't know if that's make any Im improvement in the uh, audio quality or maybe it's because I'm not um, trying to speak over the noise of the Triumph Yeah, after I've been, uh, after I've done a little uh, tour around the block on this, I think I'll drag the uh, the other XS650 out, the green one, which I've been ridden for two or three years. I stopped riding that because um, all the other bikes are like classes, historic vehicles, and I didn't want to have to start spending money on tax on the other ones if I'm only going to ride them for like five minutes. Uh, but now I can ride all the bikes whenever I want they're all taxed and MOT'd as it were yeah. what's this? road closed, oh, I can't go that way where should we go then? We'll take a different route somewhere This is, uh, this bike was imported from Japan uh, and I was the first owner from when it was imported and then on the, on, the, uh, on the clock there's a little red light in the middle there that used to come on but as soon as you hit 50 mile an hour it would come on there's like a really bright red light I might have mentioned that before I can't remember if I mentioned that before may have done but uh, yeah yeah just take the bulb out of that I put my original speedo back on as well, which uh, which was on when I got it. Because every other speedo that I tried putting on it, it seems to make a rail for some reason, probably because they're that old and uh, knackered. But this one's done 43,800 kilometres, so maybe plus about another two or three hundred miles of trying different speedos out. I could have gone down there. Yeah, that's basically how much this bike's done. Oh, oh dear. It is uh, easy to ride this bike. And there's no vibrations like the twins. I mean, since I've uh, changed the jets in the card as well, it's got. It feels like it's got a little bit more poke. So uh, I think I went down a size jet. Yeah, I think I went down a size jet. I've got bigger, the bigger jets in, but I think the uh, the bike was tuned for the other the other jets with the rest of the uh, the jets in the carbs and the needles and all that kind of stuff I did I did notice when I did have the uh, the bigger jets in here that when you give it full welly it kind of it hit a point where it started to stumble maybe it was just too rich never smoked or nothing though so Can hear the, I don't know if you can hear it through the camera, but you can hear like a whoa, 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 whoa noise from the, the rear diff. The noise the rear diff makes when you you get a certain speed. 
certain frequency I've had this bike the longest out of all the bikes really this one been everywhere on it I think we should go down to the Bradbury End Right, let down to south of Stevenage and then head towards Aston that way go up past the Ford where um, Dave had his close shave go along that road to to Walken mind you, if that, if that road's closed down there I don't know if uh, I might have to turn around and come back never know give it a blast anyway just a quick little run out it's going to be nice like this all day we're going to go and see Brian later on and then go out for a blast of him somewhere and what bike shall I use such a choice now maybe I should start selling some of the bikes so it'll have less of a choice less decisions to make I think I'll go at, um, well, I'll just do a right and see where that takes me. I won't go to Aston, I've been there enough times. Where you know that, that road where Dave done his close shave I'll take a, another route. building more flats used to be a shopping uh, little shopping centre here and they're turning it all into flats more people more traffic Sort of roads you don't want loads of gravel on, would it? Any of these lanes. It's always worse after it if it yeah get a, a big downpour of rain it washes all the gravel in the roads and then the cars come along and then scoop it all into the like the middle middle of the road where you want to ride your bike.
and there's going to be loads of traffic going through the, uh, the Nebworth village here. So looking at the cars slowly going down there, so I'm going to go straight across and have a little shortcut round. Oh, I don't know though. Could do it. Yeah, thank you. actually I will. Oh, I should have gone straight on. <laughs> The Harley rider there didn't even didn't even nod at you, does he? Maybe I think it's teaching that geezer in front to ride. Roads here. Diabolical. OCD on that rubber. You see what I've done then? I went to, uh, I, I put the rubber on the, uh, <laughs> I put the rubber on the, uh, on the clutch adjuster. And as I brought me and back, I hit the kill switch. The geezer in the mini behind me was thinking, what the fucking hell does he keep fucking slowing down for? Never take. Fucking hell, you got bags of him, look. Really? I think I ride through a little village called Old Welling. Pretty little village, got a big old church there, war memorial and all that kind of stuff. That's where this bus is going, so we want to get in front of that. But you no doubt he's going to stop at the bottom of this hill. Stop here. Go on, overtake. Yes. People waiting for the bus at the bottom of the hill, didn't they? Old people want to get a will in and stuff like that.
face full of dust. Get past him in a minute. to old welling. It's be a it's be a lovely place to live. For the money I'd think I'd move to somewhere like this. All these old houses. And some of them are what sixteen hundreds maybe. Especially this one at the end here. There's the old church. Katie's Bakery. It's a typical little uh, English village here. Yeah. Slow my tick over down a little bit. He's in the can left and I change his mind, look. Still got the old phone box. Check that out. <laughs> There's an old school on the right here, like really old. There it is. Where is it? Where is it? Is that it? Yeah. I've gone past it. A really old school. None of your modern stuff around here, apart from cars. Do for the little little tour of Welling. Is that bus? Just go on the uh, on the, there's a long long road to Hitchin. I think uh, head head towards Hitchin on the way back. And then take another detour up some lane. Go 
go back to Stevenage that way. I hope the old uh, vocals sound better this, on this mic. So I've, uh, I mean, if they sound muffled like the other one, might be the uh, might be the actual camera, the recording of the camera. Is it good? This is where we just done. Where we just come this way to go into Old Willing. We're not going into Old Welling this time. We go this way. See what's up here. They used to do uh, car boot sales up here, and they used to do a lot of car boot sales. I ain't seen any lately, really. Car boot sales are the uh, what you Americans call uh, garage sales, but rather than opening your garage up and sell it from there, everyone gets together in a field and sells it together. So it's like a, a huge, huge market, really. Of, uh, second hand stuff they used to pick up some bargains here though uh, but now everyone's everyone's on uh, ebay you can't pick up any bargains because fucking everyone's just snapped them all up and then selling them on ebay at like 10 times the price Slow this chick over down somehow. Don't feel like Is it going to burn my hands? I've got to try and remember where the turning is. I'm sure up here somewhere there's an old Victorian bottle dump that we used to dig years ago to find old bottles and old pots and plates and stuff. <laughs> Is that much road you want, mate? I think the turning's here, where that car's going. Let's go up there. Berry Lane. Yeah, this is the road. Takes you into the back end of Stevenage.
when I was the, uh, when I, when I first, well, I mean, in fact, when I, when I, before I started my, uh, band I was in, we used to rehearse up here, up this, uh, club here, cricket club or something, somewhere up there. Get miles come just to rehearse. Datchworth is this? I think it's Datchworth. Coming into Datchworth. Oop, stones. Go past Datchworth. Church is supposed to be one of the uh, most haunted churches in in Oxfordshire. Don't know about that though. Uh, what I've read online, but I've not heard of any stories about it really. Stop here somewhere, I think. Oh, it's old Nibworth, not Datchworth. Oh, I'm thinking I'm somewhere else. The same old bill car that was parked down the road. <laughs> He's probably thinking, is that the same biker I just saw go past? Hey Brian, I was sort of telling you about riding horses the other day, it's the Lord's Farm what's is here somewhere. Manor Farm stables. I think it used to be called there it is here. I think it used to be called Lord's Farm at one point. Manor Stables now. That's where all the horses were that they used for the jousting at Nebworth Park. building there. Someone's ass. Ass. I think there's some interesting places you can go in Oxfordshire, but there ain't a great deal of interesting places, to be honest. It's a pretty, uh, pretty boring place, really, that I can, that I can think of. Oh, I know I am coming out down by the uh, 
the, uh, the station. Oh, I could have done a left there. The Nebworth train station. Uh, before I go home, I'm just going to pop up and see if my mum and dad are at home. So I can uh, just pop in and say hello, have a cup of tea. So I haven't seen them since Christmas. And while I'm up this way, why not? Yeah, they live in Nebworth. <laughs> Dad's 90 this year, I think. I think it's 90 this year. He still drives. He still goes out every every day with my mum in the car. Crazy, isn't it? Really, they go to um, garden centres and stuff like that. But on a day like this, I'd be surprised if they're in. There, might his car's there. Right, I'll have to um, shut you off here, and I'll come back to you when I've when I've seen my mum and dad. Yeah, that was a nice little visit. Just went to see mum and dad. The sister turned up as well. I haven't seen her for quite a while, so it was a good little get together there. My sister works in the um, in a pharmacy and uh, she mentioned something to me that, that, the, that the government are trying to bring in is you know when in the UK if you're over if you're 60 or over you get free prescriptions but what they're trying to do now is what she told me is that um, they're going to try and change that so that you won't get free prescriptions yeah. until you're on a pension, which means you've got, a, you got a six, six more years of, of paying for prescriptions. I mean, like me, I'm retiring at 66. When I'm 66, so I, I'd rather than uh, get my free prescriptions from between 60 onwards so I've got I'd have, I'd have to wait till I'm 66 a rip off innit <laughs> yeah poxy government how else can they sting the the normal working class people how else can they make money for themselves? That's all it is, isn't it? Yeah, my dad is uh, 90 this year. And, um, one of his hearing aids have packed up, so he's off to off to the uh, hospital to get a replacement, so he can hear what's going on again. That must be annoying, not being able to hear anything, or only hear out one side. <laughs> right, this is just basically boring roads back to Stevenage now, so I'll probably cut off here and I'll have to come back when I get on the green excess 650 the 1981 bike so I'll catch you in a minute what the fuck okay <laughs> what's going on with people invalid carriage going up the fucking road this geezer in front can't stay on a, on a, on a straight line
I'm using my old, uh, my old camera uh, for this run because uh, I believe my new camera has got an issue with the audio it's, it tends to uh, record a bit muffled well that might sound alright on this video beginning of the video because I've had to re-equalise the audio before I uh, uploaded it so you probably hear the uh, yeah, the bike's a bit better, yeah, Brian's bike a bit better. Yeah, my squeaky front brake better. Yeah, so I'm on the, uh, the green XS now. Well, I don't like doing this. I think I always think my feet are going to touch the curb. but it sounds alright sounds much better than behind them through the uh, the head uh, the head cam the audio from the head cam but probably again it's because my uh, audio is a bit naff we're going to take a look at this um, let me show that we're going to take a look at this uh, wall they're building uh, on the new housing estate in Stevenage. It's like well, fences, really, so three metre or four metre high fence, maybe even higher than that. Can't remember now. Can't remember what it said. But uh, stop the noise of the motorway onto the housing estate. I reckon if you don't like the noise, then don't move there, really. And it's similar there, isn't it? I mean, there's loads of houses by the motorway, but they haven't all got to do great walls up. But I want to see it before it gets graffitied. Look at it in its prime and glory before the, uh, the old rail cans get, get onto it. how good this bike was. <laughs> I haven't ridden this since, I think it was, uh, oh, what did Brian say, 2000, 2019, I think the MOT run out on it. So I haven't, I haven't ridden it since 2019. Or 18, 2018, 19. Oh, I can't remember. I'm getting old. I'm supposed to remember all these things. Good thing is I haven't forgotten how to ride a motorbike. Mind a drain.
have to change the old uh, air screws in this again soon because I've filled up with uh, E5 petrol not using the uh, me ethanol free stuff so I'll probably have to retune the, uh, the carbs up for use with that Be school kick, school kicking out time. There he goes. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> without fail, under any bridge. Road humps everywhere. change how wind mirrors on this earlier on but the uh, horrible square ones cheap plasticky square ones which were like magnifying glasses when you looked in them everything's like really close up so there's some old classic chromey things on feels like I'm driving a bike with cow horns now oh there it is look at the state of that really Anyway, that'll do for this uh, video for today. Quite a bit in there, uh, quite long I think. So must be about over over half an hour, three quarters of an hour long I expect. But I'll finish it off with our latest song called Waiting for the Ice Cream Van. And uh, there you go, have a listen to this. Waiting for the ice cream man Listen for the music Coming from the bright pink van Waiting on the curb With my money in my hand Grown-ups think it's funny Cause they just don't understand Waiting for the ice cream man Sprinkles on the top Or oh, one with chocolate flake The choices never stop Waiting for the ice cream man Waiting for the ice cream man
Cause the parents told them no They say that they're not bothered But the faces tell me so The sun is beating down on me I walk back with my prize And I take a massive bite And a shock between the eyes You guys can give me brain freeze, man the steps and make for my front door and the asking goes a flying and it ends up on the floor I don't drop my ice cream man 